Hey everybody, we're back. <laughs> that's Yaya. Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon, that's Yaya. Click the subscribe button, please. And if you are not new, thanks for coming back. Today we went to the best TJ Maxx, the nice one that we have gone to in the past. I like that one because everything is organized and oftentimes they have really nice stuff. They had some NARS there. They had a lot of milk makeup. They had some things that we hadn't seen before. We also went to Marshall's. I feel like I haven't been to Marshall's in a while but Marshall's had some really nice stuff we saw the gingerbread palette we saw some new Marc Jacobs we just saw a lot of new stuff and I feel like maybe it's because I haven't been to Marshall's in a while I don't know but I'll stop rambling so you can get into it and I'll catch you at the end we have the Stila happy hour palette here for $19.99 if you didn't check out the other video I'll link it below but I did hear this has a lot of fallout so keep that in mind we've seen this buxom also $14.99 let's open this up and I'll show you again and this is what the buxom looks like and this is the outside of the packaging and then I also came across this Stila lip gloss in the shade empowering I feel like this is just a really bright nice shade this is gonna be $4.99 for this one just randomly came across this gem right here this is the Stila little white lies highlighter palette this is going to be $12.99. If you did not see the other video, we did buy this. So it looks like they have all of them here. These are gonna be $5.99. And then we've got the Cherry Chocolate. They also have up here some little donuts, $2.99. These are five shades of intense pigment eyeshadows. And they also have um, another different, I guess that's like a jelly filled donut. And this is a regular donut, $2.99. Same concept, five eyeshadows. Let's see. Oh, they have another one back there also. Um, this is, I guess, like a jelly feel filled donut also for $2.99 as well. So that's pretty cute. They've got the little set. We also have the Nicole Miller Glow Palette. I believe we have seen this before. This is what she looks like. Very pretty. We have seen this before. This is $4.99. We've also got some lippies from her Matte Duo um, Lip Set $2.99 for those. We have some Stila Stay All Day Sheer Liquid Lipsticks for $4.99 in the shades Porlafino, Biscotti, and Sheer Patina. These look very pretty pretty. So we have some Anastasia matte lipsticks in the shade Stargazer, $6.99. We see this every time we come. We've got the liquid lipsticks here. These are going to be $6.99. We have the same nude shades that we've seen before. So there's Naked. We also have um, Grape Jelly, which I got last week, and it's very pretty, very pigmented for their glosses. The glosses are $6.99. Um, this is a liquid lipstick in the shade malt this is $6.99 also it's a brown shade starfish also a brown shade liquid lipstick by her okay y'all yeah, we still have the Anastasia here for $16.99 for the loose shadows the powder bronzer is $5.99 still here you've seen this Laura Geller before this is going to be $5.99 as well we have the NARS soft velvet pressed powder here for $14.99 and then we have the multi stick in Luxor. We've seen this before for $9.99. We've got a NARS shadow, or not shadow, but foundation for $14.99. And then we have this NARS box here. And this is going to have a velvet matte lip pencil and a blush inside this NARS box. This is going to be. $14.99 for this one. We've got the Perfecting Bronzer here from Becca for $9.99. We've got the Laura Mercy Highlighter. Um, they also have this at Costco. I know this is going to be $12.99. We've seen this before, a moisturizer for $5.99. We've still got Cover FX foundations for $9.99. We've got a lot of milk products here. So we have the um, brow pencils. These are $6.99. We've got the shade Dutch, Dutch. Looks like they are all Dutch. And then we also have a grind. We've got these blushes and highlighters from Milk for $4.99. 
We've got the shade Flip, Halo. These are highlighters in Lit. We've got one of these, Turnt. We also have some lippies here. This is $5.99 and they have the shade Cream and Skills. We also have the Milk Concealers here for $7.99. We have this in a few different shades, Porcelain and Golden Honey. We have the Foundation Sticks here, which I love for $9.99. And then we have the Translucent Powder, which I also like for $9.99. We do have some Pretty Vulgar, which we have seen before. This one is $9.99, and this is the Early Bird palette. Let's see if this one is different. Yep, and then we also have for $9.99 the Phoenix Rising palette from, from Pretty Vulgar. Up here we also have some Urban Decay powders still. We have the Heat for $9.99, and then we also have the Cherry and the Honey. We also have a Stila Shine Fever Lip Vinyl for $5.99. This is what she looks like, very pretty purpley shade. This is the shade RPM. We have a lot more Milk Makeup Foundation Sticks. They have definitely restocked $9.99, like I said earlier. Then we also have these. These are Lip Balms. These are $4.99. We have Canatonic. Canatonic, um, we have it in plush berry also. Looks like we also have a lip glaze over here in the shade Nova. Looks like the only shade that they have right now. This is $5.99. We have White Widow over here. This is a primer for $7.99. And then we also have the Shine Oil for $7.99. We've got more concealers, $7.99. Foundations over here, $11.99 for those. Still have some Wonder Brow in Brunette and Black Brown back there. These are going to be $4.99. Looks like we have a lot of the same lashes we have every week. These are going to be $3.99, $3.99 for these. We've seen these a few times. I kind of want to get them, but I'm just iffy about the magnet thing. I tried them once. It didn't go well for me. $11.99 for those. We have some more Uma here. These are going to be $7.99. These, I think, are brow gels. And then we've seen this lipstick before. This is in Agabini. I have no clue how to say that, but... It is going to be $9.99. Then we also have a duo stick here for $10.99. The Double Take in Bronze Venus. We have not seen this one before. And this is what she looks like. And then this is the other side. Very pretty. I like this one better than the last one. Okay, they didn't have any new brushes. This looks new, but the rest of them did not, so I won't go through them. But these are $4.99. We've seen this Estee Lauder a number of times. That is still here. And we've got the same palettes that we have seen. Anastasia is still here. I'm surprised this hasn't moved to clearance yet because we've seen this like every day for a long time now. Okay, y'all, we are in Marshalls and I finally found a gingerbread palette, but it's the Spice and I already have that. This is 29 here. They still have some chocolate bars. I did come across this Anastasia Loose Glitter Kit. This is going to be $19.99. They all kind of look like white shades. We have the Bare Minerals Veil Finishing Powder for $14.99. We've seen that in TJ Maxx before. We've also got some Physician's Formula items down here, $6.99. Oh, we have a Bare Minerals Primer. We don't often see this. I don't know if we've ever seen this one. This is gonna be $9.99 for their primer. Okay, I'm not seeing a bunch of new skincare stuff, but we do have this Murad here for $14.99. We have this Eve Lom. Not really sure about what she is or what this company is, but it's $24.99 for the face masks. And there are four face masks in there. And then we also have this Time Retreat here. This is gonna be $34.99. We do have some Dr. Jart Firming Serum here. I like Dr. Jart, that is $16.99. But other than that, it looks like this is all stuff that we have already seen before. Okay, we have a few perfumes here that we don't normally see, so we're just going to run through these ones really quickly.
We have a Laura Geller palette here for $10.99, and this is what she looks like. Wow, she's really pretty. Missing the brush, but I kind of really like this. We also have a Physician's Formula Butter Collection. I like their Butter Collection with Casey Holmes. Oh, that's pretty, but the box is kind of bulky, so I wouldn't really like that. But this is going to be $7.99, and then we have some kind of cover girl. Oh, I can't open it, sorry. Um, but this is, I don't know how much this is because it's messed up, but it's here if you want it. And then this, Marshalls actually still has the wired palette here for $14.99. We do have an Anastasia blush trio. I have seen this before at Marshalls. This is gonna be $9.99. I think I actually picked this up, but when I got to the register and opened it, the um, shades weren't really my type of shades. Okay, in TJ Maxx, we didn't really see any new lashes, but these ones are definitely new although i don't really buy lashes i know that these ones are new at least um for us recently 3.99 for these revive lashes we've got some 3d drama lashes here these are 3.99 we also have them right here there's not many new that we haven't seen already okay so they do have some brushes that we don't regularly see so i'll go over them really quick 2.99 for this real techniques powder and cream highlighter brush this I know we have not seen before. This is the limited edition 001 foundation brush. This is gonna be $5.99. We have seen that powder brush. We do have some Sigma brushes here, $12.99 for this brush, and this is the F89 brush. That's what she looks like. We have these little Stila lip sets that we have seen before. These are $9.99, little three pack here. And then we also have the Anastasia lip set that we have also seen before and this is going to be $12.99 for her. We have some MAC Love Me lipstick. This is going to be in the shade Mason Rouge for $7.99. We also have some gloss here. This is going to be $5.99 in the shade Boy boy bait it looks like we have all the same anastasias that we've seen before so i'm not going to go through them we also have the same narses that we have seen before we do have some lorax here that i feel like we haven't seen 3.99 for the alter ego lipsticks and this is the shade showgirl they also have flirt back there we do have the benefits brow contour pro here we have blonde light and brown medium these are going to be $9.99 for those. We randomly have a little Trolls Country Western here for $4.99. I think I got this for the girls for Christmas. And then we have the Marc Jacobs Instant Blur Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Muse. This is $14.99 for this one. Oh, we've got some Becca. What is this? Um, collector's Edition Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is Champagne Pop. This is going to be $9.99. I might have to pick this up. Okay, we have the same foundations we always see, so I'm not going to go over all of those, but we do have a No Problem Primer, which I actually really like. This is $19.99. I got one of these in a boxy charm, I think, but I do really like this one a lot. We also have the Urban Decay Velvetizer Translucent Medium um, Setting Powder, $3.99. I might grab one of these just because I like Urban Decay. We still have the same Anastasia palette. We've seen this Lorac and Marc Jacobs again, but in Starlet. This is the Too Faced Highlighter, Blinded by Light, $8.99. This is really pretty. I have this and I love this. This is a go-to for me. We have the Benefits, Let the Pretty Times Roll. This is a liquid liner and eyeshadow set. This is gonna be $14.99 and that's what she looks like. And then we also have this, which I've seen in other videos. This is the Travel Set World of Blushes. And 
and this is going to be $6.99. I kind of want this, but I kind of don't. I kind of want it. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in my basket just in case. We actually have a cute compact here with the letter L on it if your initials um, has an L in it. $7.99 for this. That's actually really cute. We've got the Stila Eyes are the window palette. I actually bought this in one of my first videos. $12.99 for that. I have found a Marc Jacobs Blurred and Bronze set. This is $29.99. This is a Primer Set and Bronze Trio. They have the Kevin Aqua here. We see that all the time. We've still got some NARS foundations. We've got those sculpting duos here. They have their stuff taped up so you can't open it and look at it, but we know what these look like anyway. $9.99 uh, Coca Cabana and Sardinia Beach. And and they have Hot Sands and Laguna, which I bought. We saw that in a different video. Pericone MD, no makeup foundation, $10.99 for those. We have a Laura Mercier lipstick set here. It is a red red. That's going to be $14.99 for that. We have a Laura Geller. I love Laura Geller. This is a filter correcting thing. Uh, it looks like this was supposed to be in a box, so I don't know the price for that. We also have some more Bare Minerals sets. We've seen this one at TJ Maxx, uh, $19.99. This is a primer, mascara, and lipstick. And then this one is going to be Vital Power Infused Serum. This is like a face thing, I think. It's a skincare trio for this one. This is $19.99, comes with a bag. Okay, y'all, what did you think? I feel like we did see a lot of milk makeup, but some of it does just become repetitive. I like that we saw all of the iHeart Revolution palettes and the little donuts. I think those are actually at Ulta because I had looked at the little donut ones online at Ulta for the girls for Christmas. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Do your own, please. Um, so I do like seeing things like that change up in some of the new palettes that we saw. I did grab a few things. I'll go over them really quickly with you. I did grab one of the Milk blushes. This is in the shade Flip. $4.99. I feel like $4.99 is a good price for them and for their highlighters. I think one year Sephora was actually giving out Milk blushes for your birthday. I can't remember, but I do know I have one and I got it from Sephora for some kind of gift. But this is what that shade looks like right there. I like this. No, thank you. You can also use this as a lip tint. When I use it as a lip tint, it kind of gives like a sheer, almost like I drink a lot of Kool-Aid as a child or something red to my lips. Um, but this blends out really nicely if you use it as a blush also. And then I got this, the Stila Highlighter Palette. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty disappointed in this one. $12.99 and this is Little White Lies. So this is what she looks looks like and I'll swatch her really quickly for you. Um there the the pigmentation on this it's there but I'm not into those big glitter flecks and that's pretty much what this is. It's very chunky. I'm not really into the blue highlighter or the pink highlighter so I feel like this is just a no-go for me. Also it's just very glittery and chunky so for me this one is a hard pass. I was really excited. In the pan this looks beautiful. The packaging is nice. It's sleek. All of it is nice but um, on me personally I am not into here. Here, just take that. Just take it. I am not personally into those type of highlighters, so that one was a major, major disappointment for me. Let's just say that. it was a, That was a major disappointment for me um, because you can't take it back. I asked when I was at Marshalls, because I went to Marshalls after TJ Maxx, and I asked at Marshalls, what is the return policy if you get something and you don't like it? And they told me, if you use it, you are stuck with it because they cannot resell it, so you cannot return it. So I'm just stuck with that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll play with it. So there's that. I also grabbed some of the lipsticks that they had, the milk lipsticks. Those were $5.99. Yeah, yeah, makeup on. $5.99 for each of these. I got the shade Cream and the shade Skills. And I'll be honest, one of them I'm not in love with. I actually really don't like at all. So this is the cream shade. The thing I do like about this is you can see the name on the actual packaging itself. So that is a nice touch. This one is the shade Skills and 
they're they're very nice shades okay, uh oh careful okay. the formula is really nice okay. with these but unfortunately um they're just not really my type of shades like they're not the colors i would normally gravitate towards okay. so no thank you nice. this is skills and then the bottom one Dying. will be Dying. cream let me block everyone's face up so it can focus and I feel like this shade here is just really close to the color of my skin. So it just kind of washes me out and really does not look that good. So unfortunately, the other shade looks nice, but it's still not a go-to for me. Um, that I, I probably won't use these. So I feel like, although we saw some really nice things at TJ Maxx, the buys that we actually came home with were not... Not happy because I spent 30 something dollars and realistically the only thing I will probably use is this occasionally. Um, I'm not going to use the lipsticks. I'm definitely not going to use the highlighter. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We also went to Marshalls and Marshalls actually had some really nice stuff. I wish I could find the gingerbread palette and not the gingerbread spice, but I can't yeah, find it. Fresh. Yeah, gingerbread spice. Okay. I can't find it. The thing that I liked about this Marshalls, um, which is kind of a downfall for me and kind of not, is that they use moving tape to tape everything shut so you cannot open it, you cannot look at it, you cannot swatch it, which is good because you know how I feel about people swatching it, but then I also cannot show y'all, so that's kind of not good, but kind of good. And then, of course, I can't open this either now. This is the yeah. Becca Endless Summer Glow Palette. This is the Chrissy Teigen collab, and this is Endless Bronze and Glow, $9.99. I googled this so I could see what this was since I couldn't open it and actually look at it, but I do love the Becca highlighters, so I'm pretty... I'm pretty hopeful with this, but I don't know because y'all know one time I did, I bought, um, I bought an endless bronze and whatever summer glow and endless, it's I thought it was going to be a highlighter and it was actually a gloss that was like the same color as my lips or my skin. And I was like, damn, I'm never going to use this. So, and I'm stuck with it. For your eyeshadow? Yeah, no, no, not for your eyeshadow, for your blush. Um, this is what the package looks like. Very pretty. That's the normal Becca. For Ugh. I'm not disappointed when I look at her. Look at very pretty. Her. Oh, you show your brush? This is yeah. very pretty, and what? I feel like, you know, I always talk about whether or not something is going to be travel worthy. I feel like this would be great to travel with. Let's just swatch. You've got a white, oh, yeah, we've got a white highlighter, a pinky highlighter, Mom, and a makeup. bronze, and it is. Not eating your makeup. No, you don't eat makeup. It is very what? creamy feeling. Let me block her. Very creamy feeling. Very pigmented. Mama likey. You know, I like that. Let's swatch her. Okay. Mom, my, okay. Wow, look at that. This, I feel like, I'm trying to block her so that we can focus here, sorry. Um, this looks Mom, nice. I really, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I'm very excited about this one. I'm happy because that Stila highlighter is just not it for me. And, for, and I like Stila, so don't get me wrong, but that's not, that's not gonna work for me. I think I said I was gonna grab one of these just because in the video, and I actually, I did grab it just because. This is the Urban Decay Velvetizer Translucent in um, medium. This is medium? Yeah, I don't know. $3.99 for this one. Um, I felt like $3.99. I'm down to try it because I love Urban Decay as a brand. This is what the packaging looks like. Purple, sleek, normal Urban Decay type of style. You have a little thing that you peel off and then you actually only have one hole in there. I don't know if you can even see it because it's a tiny little hole. And I guess you just, it's just one little, one little puka. And you just do this, and then you get some out. It's just a light shade. Just a light shade. So, let's see if... That feels soft. It feels like a setting powder. I don't know. I'll put this with the rest of the setting powders. I really... I got a milk setting powder, um... At one of one time that I when I went, but um, I do really like it, so I would highly recommend that one. Also, the lipstick of the day today is Hidden Pleasures. It is just a NARS lip balm that I got in another video. It, that video is probably on our other channel, the Shopping with Shannon channel. Um, but I got it in this little NARS duo with Orgasm, $9.99 for two of these. If you didn't check that video, check it out. I I don't even remember. I'll find it. I will link it below for you. But if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell. Bye. Bye.